right, welcome to another Tech Talk Tuesday. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about overdrive transmission options for your classic Mopar, specifically for your Barracudas and Challengers. But a lot of these can be applied to any of the classic Mopar platforms, whether it be your A bodies with your darts and your dusters and your demons, or if it's your B bodies with your chargers, coronets, road runners, any of them. So we'll go ahead and start in with your automatic options. So there are a few options out there if you wanna put an automatic transmission with an overdrive on it into your classic Mopar. Uh, for starters, you, one of your probably most expensive options is gonna be going with Silver Sport transmissions. They offer a what they call an A41 package. Um, it's a conversion kit, it's an automatic, gives you, uh, I believe it's a four speed, uh, the fourth being overdrive. And so they have complete kits available to go ahead and convert your cars to an automatic overdrive. Now from there, your next option for the automatic is gonna be with a company called Gear Vendors. Now they offer both a conversion for your automatic and your manual transmission. So they can do this for either one. And what theirs does is it takes a their gear vendors unit, you physically bolt it onto the back of your either your 727 Torque Flight Automatic or your 833 four speed. You remove the tail housing on each of them, bolt their gear vendors unit on, and it gives you an overdrive transmission. Now, of course, this one is probably my least favorite option because you're putting another huge object on the back of your transmission and stuff, and then you've got the wiring and this um, setup to be able to go in and out of overdrive. It just isn't the cleanest option in my opinion, um, but it does get the job done and it does allow you to use the existing transmission in your car, whether it's an automatic or a four speed. Um, so those are options are available. Uh, from there, your last option that I'm aware of for the automatic conversion is gonna be a 518 transmission. So the 518 transmission it's basically a factory Mopar transmission that's a 727 torque flight, but has a built-in overdrive already. And so it's a definitely a longer transmission than your standard 727, um, but it is a factory unit. There are kits out there to be able to hook up the overdrive in your classic Mopars. So from that standpoint, it works out really well. There are also ways to hook up your stock floor shifters uh, and things like that. So that way it really looks stock within the car. And you do have to make some minor modifications. Uh, you're gonna have to build a custom transmission mount cross member uh, to be able to hook up to the new 518. You also need to um, notch some of the webbing out of the case of the 518 to get to clear the tra uh, transmission, uh, the torsion bar cross member. Um, but it's not, nothing that's a huge, huge um, invasive uh, amount of work that has to be done to get it to go in. Now, the only downside with the 518 though, it's only available for the small block transmission. So if you have a big block and you wanna run a 518, you're gonna to have to do a conversion bell housing to make it mate up to your big block transmission, which that takes some effort. So you're gonna to have to cut the bell housing off and weld on a new one or get some kind of adapter plate and it's just not as simple and as straightforward. But it can be done. People have done it, so if you've got a big block, you wanna run a 518, you can, but there's gonna be more work involved. So those are really your, your top options available for an automatic transmission. Um, they definitely require a bit more work to put in compared to the manual transmission options. So let's go ahead and jump into those as well because there are several manual transmission options available for these classic Mopars. So for starters, Mopar did offer a factory 833 that was an overdrive. Uh, it's a four speed transmission. It's got an aluminum case instead of the cast iron case. And so it's readily uh, identifiable if you're seeing one in a wrecking yard or whatever. And um, you bolt it in, you have to do some um, changes with the shifter to get everything, all the gears to line up properly and stuff, but it's nothing that's too crazy, too difficult to do. And being that it's a production transmission, it bolts right in. So that's one option to go if you wanna go with an overdrive. Now, another option is a company called Pass and Performance. They have actually two options available. The first option that they have available is a overdrive gear set. So you can take your stock 833 and replace the gear set in that with their overdrive gear set. And so basically, like on the factory Mopar uh, aluminum 833, first through third are your normal gears and then fourth is the overdrive. So you do have a bit of a wider spread in the RPM range between your gears. 
Um, so it's not the most ideal for like racing situations where you're trying to keep your narrow uh, power band on the RPM scale. Um, but it's still, it gets the job done, it works great. Um, I know people have put these behind Hemi cars, didn't have any problems with them. It's just something you're gonna have to keep in mind. If you want an overdrive with in being a fifth or a sixth gear, you're not gonna be able to get it with a factory 833 overdrive or with the pass and gear set conversion. Now, the best option in my opinion for the overdrive conversion for your classic Mopars has to be the Passin Performance 5-speed overdrive. Now, what I really like about this transmission is it's a literally a drop-in replacement for the factory 833. They took the 833 design, redesigned it with five gears in it instead of four, and fifth is an overdrive. And so it's a true drop-in, plug-and-play replacement unit. Everything works as it should, and it's a great option. The only downside is it's not cheap and there's a bit of a wait for it. I think, I can't remember if it's like $5,000, maybe 5,500. It's a really expensive transmission and there's a long wait for them. But if you want a true drop-in replacement, if you have like a factory Hemi car or a 446 pack car and you don't want to be hacking up your car by modifying it to clear the uh, increased size of the other overdrive transmission options, this is your best bet. If you've got a high value car, but you want to drive it and have an overdrive, the pass and five speed is probably the one you want to go with. So from there on the manual transmission front, um, another company uh, that I've mentioned before with the automatics is Silver Sport Transmissions. They have two manual uh, conversion overdrive kits, uh, one for a five speed, which is minimal on the amount of work you have to do to put it in. Uh, there is some transmission massaging you have to do to get that uh, Tremec to fit, uh, but it is a modern five-speed transmission, so you get a, a lot of benefits from that. Now, the other option that they offer is a six-speed manual. Now, the six-speed manual is a great transmission. I love this transmission. The problem is, with how big it is, trying to cram it in that transmission tunnel doesn't work out so well. So you have to notch the torsion bar cross member to get it to clear the case of the T56 Tremec. And then they have a new reinforced cross member to, that supports the transmission that will take up the um, slack from where you cut out the torsion bar cross member. So it's not an ideal situation having to cut that torsion bar cross member because that is a structural component, but they do have a reinforced transmission cross member that'll make up that difference structurally. And then of course, because of the same thing, you still have to widen the transmission tunnel even more to get it to clear. Uh, from what I've seen on the conversion, it looks like the amount of cutting you actually have to do to get it to fit is pretty minimal considering how big the transmission is. So I'm really impressed with how that kit has turned out. And then the other great thing is they've got a custom shifter that puts the shifter handle in the stock location. So if you wanna use the factory console, it'll look like a stock install from inside the car. So that's a really huge plus as well. And of course, being a T56, it's the same type of transmission that they use in the Viper. So you know it's a strong transmission. Now it's probably not a Viper spec unit, but at the same time, it's gonna hold up. It's a great transmission, you can't go wrong with it, but of course, again, it's another expensive option. It's probably the most expensive conversion kit um, to go with an overdrive for a manual. But it works great, and you get two overdrive gears, both fifth and sixth are overdrives, so you can really, if you really wanna run like a 411 or a 456 gear, or even a 48 gear, put it in six gear, you're cruising, have a .5 or .54 overdrive, it doesn't know the difference. You're just cruising down the road, enjoying the drive. But you still get the whole shot in first, having those super, super low gears. So those are really most of the options out there right now that I'm aware of that are the most common uh, for doing the conversions to put overdrives in these classic Mopars. Um, there may be some out there that I missed. If I did and you're aware of them, go ahead and put those in the comment section below because I definitely interested in see what other options are out there. Uh, I'll put links in the description as well for some of these so that way you can see what's involved and what the kits are and who the companies are that are offering them. So I hope you found this information useful and helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, give us a thumbs up. And as always, if you want to be kept up to date of all my future uploads, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell as well so that way YouTube will notify you of all the videos I do in the future. And as always, I will see you the next video.